hello hello coming today with a short little review of the Ofra Tinseltown sparkling toppers along with I thought I would also bring up the these liquid highlighters that they've come out with recently I haven't seen a lot of people talk about these um, I think believe these came out back in the beginning of November last year so I just wanted to show everyone. I think the only person I've seen really show these off or even mention them might have been Connor Christian. I think she did a short with these. So it comes like this. And you just pull it off and then they come in here and you open it up. Um, I have been using these. They're not new new. I did purchase them when they originally pretty much came out. They look like this. This one's the purple one. You got a pink one and you got a white one. If you turn the card around. So the pink one is called Ice. It's a pink magenta ice. The white one is called Glisten. It's a pearly white ice. And the purplish one is Chill and it's a lavender ice. It says, we're ready to slay the holidays with all three new sparklights toppers and icing out is just a tap away. Add a hint of glisten to lids, cheeks, and even lips. So these are multi-functional. And I kind of just wanted to give these a quick shout out. Um, in terms of my favorite to least favorite, I like the white one more, the pink one second, and the lavender one last. The lavender one... Um, actually originally came broken and but I was able to thankfully kind of press it back in I think you can still kind of see that there's a crack right there it came broken it's this one's the one that least shows up so I guess if you're kind of scared of maybe something like this that's purple you're, you'd be fine because it's not intense at all. It's also lavender. It's so light colored, which for me, which is why I like it the least. And you have your pink one here. It's a very bright pink, but still not super intense. I decided to make a short little video for these just because literally like two days ago, um, these toppers really help me save a look because I really like super shiny sparkly shimmer shadows and sometimes the shimmer shadows that I pick aren't as intense as I want them to be so for the look that I did two days ago it was a red based look and it wasn't as sparkly as I wanted it to be so I ended up just pulling out my my topper and putting that on top of the eye look I had already done and it made it so much better and that's why I just want to bring these out here and recommend these this one's my favorite one just because since it's white it's more um, versatile I guess you could say because it's more silver leaning more pearl leaning and this one is more likely like you could probably put this on any look despite what color you have underneath Oop. this one you could only do similar colors right you can only do pinks or reds um, that's pretty much it. One of the issues I have with these is though is that they are so soft, they're so easy to break. I just dropped it a little moment there and it, I don't want to open it again, but it's kind of slightly broken my, my pigment again. My, not my pigment, but my sparkles, my topper. Um, I did want to try, let's see. I wanted to kind of show. So there's one. And I hope the light can catch how sparkly. Do you see how sparkly that is? I was trying to wear the other one as well. And I'll show you my fingers after in a moment. So you're supposed to, it says, I think there's instructions somewhere. Watch, there's instructions somewhere. It says how we apply it. Dip your fingertip into the pan with a light tap. Let's do a light tap then again. Let's do a light tap. And press on two lids. With a flat shadow brush and makeup fixer, apply to lids for a more foiled look. So depending how you apply it, can also change how it looks. Like you'll see here, like I just applied more pink. It's not 
as intense as you think it should be. It is very sparkly. Wait till I show you my fingers. We'll do some of the purple very gently. It is so fragile, unfortunately. That's the only thing. That's just because I'm scared to drop it again. It is so fragile. The this one shows up the least. Oh, so again, this purple's not intense at all. Like, look at it. Whoop, 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 whoop. But look at my fingers. Can you see? It is very shiny. Sorry, they're not the best swatches in the world, but they're supposed to go on your eyelids. And I think from here you can see how shiny they are, and of course you can build them up as you'd like. Um, I kept building mine up until at least I see the shimmer on um, on my eyelids. So that's that part. I, I do recommend these. I do like these. I don't think they're absolutely necessary, but so far they've saved looks for me. So, if you like to get these if you save your looks and try them out, definitely recommend those. I also have, this is one of the original three liquid highlighters that came out. Um, this one is in shade Presley. I got this one and I got Monroe. I believe Monroe is the lighter, the lighter version. And after trying this one, because I tried this one first, um, I decided I didn't think I needed the other one because I don't wear liquid too much, too often. Um, I've been using this in my foundation. I'll put an entire pump of this in my foundation and it, it does feel like my skin is nice and brighter and not super shiny. It's not super shiny and tense. It's definitely for a more natural look. This is definitely a good medium gold color. It, Cause look, it doesn't, you can't really see it, right? Like it's very, it blends into your skin. And that's kind of why I've been adding it into my foundation. This one's newer. I think this one just came out during Valentine's Day. This is what the box looks like. When this is in here, it's in here. This is the liquid highlighter in Venus. Pull it out. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about this. Um, I felt like by looking at it, I was sure that I'm going to actually open it from here because I was pretty sure I'm like, this looks like it could be a blush. So let's put it on the other side right there. So you can, you can pop these out. You got that there. When I, I was so surprised. So you see, it is very light. It looks a little scary in the bottle. You're like, that looks really bright. But it leaves you with like the lightest kiss of blush. Just a hint of color. It is not intense. Again, these are so natural. And it just gives you a glow. It really is just a glow. You don't have to worry about it being so intense like where did it go I know for some people they'd be like oh that's not for me I see a um, gold glow it looks very what you would say sun-kissed sun-kissed skin and that's not for some people and I understand that because I usually really like super intense highlighter like I want what like Teresa says I want tin man dick highlighter these are very natural so if you want more of a natural highlighter, or if you haven't tried highlighters and you want to start trying highlighters, I would recommend these, starting with less, because you can build these up, and eventually less will become more and you'll figure out what, you're, what you feel comfortable with, what your level is. So I recommend to try these as well if you want a natural look. If you're looking for a super highlighter, super metallic, these aren't for you. These aren't going to work for you. But like I said, I like to add a pump of this into my foundation, and it really helps me with the glow. 
So that's just my little mini review for these Ofra products. Let me know down below if you guys have tried this and how you guys like them. Have a great day.